Cerberus. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew. We should get a move on. civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. The first generation adjutants have been transferred from the containment area and are being outfitted with the implants. The previous batches have been processed and moved to the storage area. We can now control when and where the adjutants convert their victims. Initial testing on various species provides ample proof the virus can adapt flawlessly, regardless of the host used. With the civilian population contained, we should be ready to initiate the next phase of the project on schedule. Before host conversion, we should begin the process of fusing the control implants to the subject's nervous systems. With the current success ratio, we project being able to surpass demand by 300%. Those idiots were experimenting on adjutants. That explains the ones we saw earlier. Extra security. The doors only open one at a time. Makes sense, considering what they had locked up in here. Doors are locked. Let's get out of here. That doorway leads to the Gozu district. Look out! Focus on the Atlas!
This looks familiar. I liked it better when Morden Solis was here shooting up looters. Morden is dead. Pity. He was a very practical type of Solarian. That Talon scout hadn't found us earlier, we'd be dead. Cerberus is still on my station. Of course something's not right. Not what I was talking about. I'm checking this out. Going radio silent. What the hell is she doing? Where's Nyreen? Scouting ahead. We've got our hands full holding this area. She's going on to afterlife.
exist. Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Irene Candros was a good soldier. It's a shame she had to die for your petty ambitions. You're a dead man. No, wait! <laughs> what now, Petrovsky? Divide and conquer, Commander. Candros killed the adjutants we hadn't finished experimenting on. They are still fully under our <laughs> Hold the perimeter. Keep Shepard away from those generators.
Attention all Cerberus forces. Surrender. Cease and desist all aggression. It's over. Commander Shepard, I surrender myself into your custody. That is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Shepard, I'm unarmed. And I can give the Alliance intel on the elusive man. You'll say anything to save your skin. I, I let you escape, Omega. I deserve mercy. Is this true, Arya? Inexplicably. I think he'd agree now that it was the biggest mistake of his life. But this is murder. That's right. Arya, maybe we should think about this. Hell no. Don't go soft on me now, Shepard. Oh no. I mean it. Stand down. You've won. It's over. Have you lost your mind? Get out of my way! No. The Alliance can use what he knows about the elusive man's plans. He has to pay for what he's done. He'll get what's coming, but not today and not by your hand. Ugh! Thank you, Commander. I'm not doing this for you. Get him out of here. This partnership has been an exercise in frustration. We won. Yes, I know. But I like to know what makes people tick. Especially someone I might need something from in the future. So come clean. Have you been trying to work me? Validating me one minute, judging me the next? Which is it, really? Have I been that hard to read? I've lived for a thousand years, Shepard, and you may be the most powerful and baffling being I've ever encountered. I have no idea where I stand with you. I like it better that you don't know. I'd hate to see you get too... comfortable. You are a truly dangerous person. And don't worry, I honor my debts. You'll have all the troops, ships, and Ezo that I promised. Then I'll be going. Bray will take you back. I have a station to whip into shape. Citizens of Omega, hear me. I, Arya Talok, have given you back your lives. My rule is reignited. My hand is on the controls once more, and I will not let go again. Each of you owes a debt. Gain my favor by rounding up the remaining Cerberus invaders and... ...and we'll take our revenge. It's their turn to tremble. Their turn to bleed. Going forward, your lives will be hard. But the price you pay is for your freedom. Only I can protect that. And hear this. I will make Omega impenetrable. No one will ever threaten my domain again. From this day on, the galaxy will know one hard truth. Don't fuck with Omega. You always get these crap details, Bray? <laughs> Not this time. You got a galaxy to save. Let's get you off this rock. <laughs> 